Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a townhouse for all of your city building needs. In Minecraft, I'll show you how to make it as tall as you like, or as short as you like, in any colour that you want, and I'll also show you how they all lock together to make an awesome street for your city. If you're new around here, please do consider subscribing to this channel, as we're always building city-related builds over here, so if you're working on a city, there's no better place. Also, please do remember to click that little bell next to the subscription button, as that will ensure that you get all of these awesome builds sent directly to your sub box. But, without any further Further ado, let's get started. So, just before we begin building, ladies and gentlemen, here are all of the materials that you will need to make your townhouse. Please do make sure that you have access to all of those and enough of those, and do bear in mind that you can make this build any color, so swap out that terracotta for your favorite block of choice. Whether that be any color of concrete, it looks great in every single color, or any color of terracotta, or anything you want to use in between. The amount of space required to make the townhouse is a 10 by 16 block area. I'd always highly recommend making this grid if you are building a city, as you don't want to get this in the wrong spot, but you don't have to make it if you don't want to. And that's it. Please pause the video if you have to gather all those materials, make sure you know where to make it, make sure you're ready to have a super awesome townhouse, and once you're ready, we can begin. Step 1 townhouse building friends, come all the way to the front row right hand corner of your grid. That is of course if you've made it, if not it's no big deal as we're starting right here anyway. Place a terracotta on the ground, extend it backwards by one, place one on top of it, extend it backwards by one, place one on top of it, extend it backwards by two, one, two, and then place four on top of it, one, two, three, four, extend across by three, one, two, three, place underneath this, four, terracotta, one, two, three, four, and then extend that fourth terracotta forwards, one, two, extend it down, forwards, down, forwards to match the shape that we have there on the opposite side. Now what we're doing with this is we want to place quartz stairs connecting the outer terracottas together as this is going to be a set of steps. Feel free to fill the top of the steps in using block of quartz or whatever you want to use. We are then going to add a double oak door at the top. Now, you might choose to add some glass above the door, you might choose to use a little bit of glass block, you can even fill it in with terracotta or a different material. I'm going to leave it as is. Now that we have created the entrance, I would recommend filling underneath the steps in using terracotta, or whatever material of choice you might be using. Just like that. What we are now going to do, however, is we are going to take the back bottom corner of the steps here, we're going to extend it back one using terracotta, extend it to the left by five using terracotta, one, two, three, four, five, and then place a block of quartz on the end. We are going to extend that block of quartz backwards by nine. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We are then going to extend across using block of quartz as well by 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Stick a terracotta on the end, extend it towards you, left by 3, and then you should find that you are able to connect it back to the start. The floor plan that we should have should look very much like this. Now, once you have made this, we can begin work on each floor. The first floor is a little bit independent of all of the other floors, so it's a little bit different, it's somewhat unique, but all of the other floors are the exact same. That's important and I'll explain why later. 
So, when it comes to the first floor, the first thing that we are going to do is on top of the first block of quartz that we placed, place six terracotta. One, two, three, four, five, six. Place a block of quartz on top of that and extend it right. Extend the entrance area upwards by an additional row using terracotta so everything connects together. Add a row of terracotta behind the entrance like this, so that it actually joins up and meets the quartz, and also add another row of terracotta on the inside. I want you to place a row of terracotta vertically on the left and right side of the inside space here. I also want you to place a row of terracotta underneath the top block of quartz. Place two rows of glass underneath this and then a row of upside down quartz stairs underneath that. You can then fill in the remaining area using terracotta and you will notice that the window lines up perfectly with the door. That's no mistake. What we also want to do is we want to create an area in front of the townhouse. Now this is optional but I like the idea of having a basement for the townhouse. So we're going to extend the quartz block here forwards using terracotta so that it is even and level with these stairs. We're going to place just two iron bars, one, two, right of the terracotta. Terracotta on the outside of those iron bars. And then we are going to dig out all of this space. So I have only a certain amount of rows that I can dig down. The reason being is because I build pretty much all of my city related builds in a super flat world. This may have been a bad choice in retrospect to be honest with you, but it does mean that we have some very clear limits. For those of you that don't build in super flat, flat worlds, we dug down one, two, three rows. Now this is important because we're going to extend the terracotta for the front of the build downwards. Like this, we're going to create a blank wall. But more so importantly than the blank wall, we want to have a double door and you can even have the choice of having a little window. We have to be able to get down here, so I'm actually going to knock out these two blocks here and I'm going to place a set of quartz stairs leading down just like this and I'll just fill in the side of the stairs like so. The idea is that inside of the build we are able to dig out all of this space here, so all of the grass and all of what have you. And in doing that, you will create a room. So let me show you what that would look like. The area will look a little something like this. Now, you're more than welcome to dig further down if you so choose. You probably won't be looking at bedrock unless you're also building in the super flat. But this is what the area should look like. Now, my recommendation also would be to do a few things. So, I would recommend digging out the walls here and replacing them with terracotta. I'd recommend digging out the floor and replacing it with a flooring material of choice. Block of Quartz works quite well down here because I'm going to make this area inside Block of Quartz too. So I'm even going to be digging out and extending the walls and floor outside here. So I'll be doing all of that too. And additionally, the way that this actually turns into a room is the fact that we have to have a floor up above us. So if you place block of quartz, that's that's what I'd recommend. That or some sort of wood. If you place a block of quartz extending inwards from the two door blocks that we have just up above us and if you cover all of the empty floor space above we'll have a pretty decent room and that itself will look quite good let me show you how that looks once that is complete so once you finish doing that you will actually have something that should look like this we have refloored the basement we have rewalled the basement we have a floor above us as well that is going to be our ceiling that is completely made out of quartz and then if we come outside as well, we have refloored this little uh, stairway here and we have also rewalled it. So we end up with quite a peculiar looking area because we kind of have like a floating wall. 
But believe it or not, we've actually just about completed one floor. The last thing that we just have to do now is we have to raise up the walls around the townhouse and we just want to raise them all up and they want to be as high as the terracotta that we have on the front of the townhouse. And if you were to raise up all of that terracotta, you'd have something which should look. So you will have something that looks exactly like this. Now, I understand that I've just done a load of things really, really quickly. So if you need to, please do pause the video if you have to. Make sure that you have done all of those things for yourself. And once you are ready to move on, I can show you how you finish off the build and how you would go about adding more floors to the build as well. So, the next thing that we're going to do now that we have raised up all of these walls is we are going to extend a block of quartz here around the side of the build and also along the back, equal to the block of quartz on the front of the building. We want to make the rest of the building terracotta, so we're going to level it all out like this. It kind of reminds me of like a Mario mushroom, just a little bit, just in the shape and the colours. Now, the reason that this is important is because this is pretty much an entire floor. I'm going to add another row of terracotta around the entrance like this, right? On top of the terracotta. You can even, if you want, connect the terracotta front and back. I'd recommend that you add quartz slab around the top of the block of quartz area that we have just on the left side of the build. And believe it or not, that is actually a finished house. It's a really small one, that's just like a one floor, one story townhouse, but you could very well leave it like that if you wanted to. However, let me show you what you need to do to simply add more floors, and this is repeatable ladies and gentlemen, you can do this as many times as you like and it's so so simple, let me show you. So if you want to add another floor, you start on the left side here, on top of the corner quartz block. These are slabs on the outside, so the corner quartz block. You place five terracotta on top of the corner. One, two, three, four, five. You add a quartz block on top. You extend the quartz block to the right by one, two, three, four, five. You extend it down to the ground using terracotta like this. You add a row of terracotta on the left, right, and then down, above, like this. You add upside down quartz stairs inside of this empty space, glass pane in the middle, like so. You then go to work on this right side here, so first of all, you just make the terracotta on the right side of the build as high as the terracotta that you have placed on the left. You want to install a window here that is equal to the window here, only in the glass section, meaning you take the glass pane here, you transfer it to this side, you don't place anything else in here, and then you place terracotta everywhere else, just like this. And then, of course, all you would do is add quartz slabs in front of the quartz blocks. You would then place terracotta on top of this to make it higher. Assuming that this is going to be the top of the building, you simply place the terracotta to make it one row higher. And then you have made, effectively, another level. So, of course, you would have to fill the back of this in the same way that we did it down below. So, that would, of course, look like this. So, that's really cool. We have... <clears throat> like this. So, that's really cool. We have actually made another floor very, very quickly. And all we would have to do to put a top in this is, of course, extend all of the terracotta backwards. Like this, just on the right side, because the entrance area wants to be a little bit taller. It makes the building look a bit more interesting and a bit more modern. And we'd seal up the roofs. But... <clears throat> 
you can pretty much do this infinitely. Like, say, if you wanted to add another floor, it's as simple as the process that I just showed you. So, we could easily add one more floor. And this is what the building will look like with two extra floors. And you can do that pretty much infinitely, ladies and gentlemen, until you eventually get up to the sky limit, which is all the way up there. You can do it pretty much infinitely. But that's not the only cool thing that you can do with the building. Let me show you. If you are trying to fill up a city, kind of like how I am at the moment, this is Stream City. So far, we have a park, we have an ice cream stand, and we have a hot dog stand. But opposite that, I wanted to build some houses. And I discovered that this house looks really good, not only if you build one house, not only if you build two houses, but you can build three houses, and you can keep going and going and going. As a matter of fact, if you build the houses all different heights, and if you build the houses in all different colors, you can really make an awesome looking street. So I'd highly recommend that. And just before we go, ladies and gentlemen, this is the original version of the townhouse. Now, it's all decorated on the inside, and I'd like to show you how it looks. So, we'll start with the basement area. Down here, I figured that we can just have a couple of trash cans on the outside. You could even have a seating area if you wanted to. In the basement, we have a little bit of a workshop. We have a bit of a boiler situation for heating. We have a little bit of a storage area here in the corner. And we just have some shelves. The sort of usual things that you might expect to find in one's basement. If we come to the first floor of the townhouse, you'll notice that you are immediately greeted with stairs. But the actual first floor purpose is a little bit of a sitting room. So we have a TV, we have a lamp, we have a plant in the corner. We have a television, which is arguably a little bit too close to the TV. What? I'm, I'm sounding like your parents. Sit as close as you like. Uh, in the little cupboard underneath the stairs here, we have just a little bit of a storage area where you can, you know, put your armor and you can store some chests and stuff. If we move out of this room and we work our way up onto the next floor, we just have a little bit of a bookshelf area at the top, but this is much more of a living situation. We have a couple of beds and a small kitchen here. We've added a couple of windows with some drapes and curtains and stuff. If we move through this floor then you'll notice we have a little bit more decoration at the bottoms and the tops of these stairs but this floor is much more so a like a bathroom floor so we have like a literal bath you could have a shower we have like a towel rack we have a toilet and a sink and a little bit of storage on the wall additionally we even have like a little bit of a closet here where we can keep like towels and stuff just uh, the sort of things that you might expect to find in a bathroom and that's it ladies and gentlemen i do hope that you have enjoyed building this townhouse i do hope that you managed to fill your city up with it i think it's a pretty cool design it's easily repeatable and it will look great in your minecraft world it really will especially if you build quite a few of them and if you make them all different heights and colors and stuff if you have enjoyed this tutorial please do remember to hit that like button as it really helps me and the channel out very very much if you're new around here please do consider subscribing to the channel especially if you love city builds like i do we build loads of them on this channel so please subscribe and click the little bell next to the subscription button that'll ensure that you get all my stuff sent directly to your sub box and not only that if you would like to check out any more of my city-related builds, as you can see behind me, we have a huge weird variance of stuff that we make. We don't just make one thing, we literally make anything that you might want to put in a city, and we take suggestions around here. But you can find all of these things in the card system, the description below, and the top of the comment section. I'll have that playlist pinned. The city builds playlist houses some really, really cool things that you can add to your city. We build them easy, we make sure that they look good, and they're easily replicatable. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I appreciate all of you very, very, very much. I love you all. Thank you so much for all of the support that you've been giving me, guys. I hope you guys all have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.